What's up, y'all? We are back with another video. If you don't know who I am, my name is India. So, Screwface Jr., I feel like he's he a cool dude, like he is a down-to-earth dude. I mean, I see that he replies back to all his fans. I see that, you know, he goes above and beyond to keep consistent with you guys on his YouTube channel. So, you know what I mean? He appreciates the shit. You can tell that he appreciates the shit. So... As we all know, I did a reaction to Dax and Screwface Gene, Dream Chaser. So, a few fans comment, a few fans subscribe. Appreciate all y'all. And they did another one. And then they did another video called, I think, The Four Horsemen, I'm guessing. I have not reacted to that, y'all. But I have just seen, he just linked a video called The Real Dax Story. Saying that Dax was supposed to basically promote the music video, but he never promoted the music video um, for Four Horsemen, I'm guessing, and basically, the nigga already paid him to do it, he said he was gonna do it, and then when it came out, the nigga didn't do it, so, he basically paid for half, half his shit, I'm guessing, for the song, but not the promotion, so, we gonna, we gonna get into a few clips, we gonna get into a few clips real quick, and then we're just gonna talk about it a little bit, um, I feel like, I feel like Dax was wrong, honestly. So we're gonna roll a few clips. Um, what the real story is about Dax and Screwface Gene. I'm not gonna react to all of them, but I'm gonna get to the important parts and we're just gonna we're gonna go from there. Let's get it. It feel like a say, cause we doing things that we never say. Now I wanna scream, like fuck everybody who didn't believe. Now this is the theme for anybody who was chasing a dream. So this is the theme for anybody who was chasing a dream. Hey, for anyone to try to hate and say that we gonna break. understand as an upcoming youtuber when you have no clout to jump on and to get you where you need to be on youtube at first you really have to put that grind in. you really have to put that consistency in and my nigga when he did this feature with dax this was a big move for him i know it was like it would be a big move for me you know what i mean dax is on the upcome dax is irrelevant right now you know what i mean so dax has a big fan base so when you when you get a feature with him you have to appreciate that shit, you know what I mean? You have to be happy about that shit, you know what I mean? And it seems that he appreciated so much, but he got done dirty. I've been trying to keep this under wraps for a while for the sake of a lot of people. I've been trying to not talk about this, but I think it's get I think we're getting to the point where we're insulting the intelligence of people. He's basically saying, now you assault me, nigga. Basically, now you assault me because we had a deal. You were nigga on a deal. And now I got to put this shit on front street. Now I got to let everybody fucking know I didn't want to, but it is what it is now. It is what it is. A lot of people been asking, what's the situation with Dax? And what's up with the Dream Chasers? So I'll just put it this way. Y'all don't really know everybody. Y'all think you know the way you think you know them. There were some things that went down with the Four Horsemen song in the beginning, right? The verse that you guys hear today for Dax on the Four Horsemen song was not his original verse. What happened was his verse was up first and it was a very, 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 very subpar verse. And I mean subpar to the point where it, I think it was like an 18 second verse. Now mind you, Dax sends his verse and at the time me and Dax are working on Dream Chaser, right? So I hit up Dax. Dax uh, uh, we talk, he charges me for the verse. Um, all together, after this story, I spent like $3,000. Yeah. Damn. He said he, he, said he spent $3,000 for a verse with Dax, right? But I'm pretty sure Dax said it's 10 bands to get on the verse with him. Me, nigga, you can see, see the fee fee is 10K if you want to track. So you go watch. Dax, why you be lying? Dax, why you be lying? Hey. Screwface putting it all out there. Let's get to it. So he charged me for the verse, which is cool. Understood. Paid it. No problem. Um, we did the song, right? Now, he never even spoke about the song, right? And I've been a rapper for a long time, especially before I was doing YouTube. And that happens, you know, rappers will do that to you, especially if they're bigger, they'll grab the, the verse. They're just trying to basically grab a, a bag of money from you and run off, basically, right? So I was like, okay, cool. He never spoke on it. But I even took that and I just texted him. I said, yo, why did you never speak of the audio? Because I dropped the audio, right? Kind of 
read them and narrated them so you guys can really see where I'm coming from. So just for my editing sake, ready, set, wait, ready, set, go, pops up on screen. Okay. So I don't remember what day this was, but I texted him before it and I asked him if he would push it and why he wasn't pushing it. And he goes, my bad, just really trying to push the Hobson song, right? Now, I would like to um, refer back to January 5th right here. On January 5th, I said, hey fam, the song dropped. I'm about to send you the rest of the money because I was sending in increments. Could I please get uh, you to tweet and uh, if the pick, is, oh wait, can you get you to tweet and if the pick, tweet the pick and the song, I type like an idiot. It would be really huge of you and helpful brother. Thank you. And then he doesn't respond back to me when I texted him that at 5 a.m. It's kind of early, whatever. He's on the East, I mean, on the West Coast time, so I assume it'd be a decent time. So I texted him again at 10 p.m. that night. I said, would that be a possibility? And he texts me back and says, I think it'll be better for me to say something when the video is out. And I say, okay, I'm gonna send you 250. Now let's read that again. I think it'll be better for me to say something when the video is out. Screwface is basically saying, would you, are you gonna promote this video? Are you gonna promote this video? Dax basically like, I don't think I should promote this video right now. I think I should promote it basically the day it drops when it links. So Screwface like, okay, but I already paid you, but you already said you was going to share it. Now you switching it. Now you want to do it today. Basically the day, the day that, um, the day it really drops. That's not really promoting it. It is that day, but it's not getting fans ready for that song, ready for the heat, ready for them bars, for all four of them. He said, my bad. I was pushing the Hobson song. Okay, we pop up the first text again. I know, bro. This is what I said. I know, bro. Not to fit. I said, I know, bro, but now I feel used and I kind of look stupid because my fans aren't dumb and notice you didn't really push four horsemen. And it's not just my fans who noticed that everybody did. And literally, and I told him, and I literally flew to LA with my people to shoot a video and you said you would share it. That's the whole purpose of that. He says, I know. You got a million, and I said, I know you got a million subs, but do you remember, I mean, but don't you remember how it was when you had 50,000? I also need help, man. And people have been telling me this is what you do on features when people are smaller, because people told me that, than you. And I thought they was BSing because you was cool when I met you, right? Because when we met each other, he would never have came off like he's about the stuff he's about to say. Then he goes, we'll, pick, we'll take that one down and we'll pop up number two. Ready, set, go. Okay, he goes, he goes. My G, when I have 50K subs and put a video out, I would spend literally days sending it manually, thousands of people myself on all platforms with individual messages that had their specific handle in it to whatever would be personalized. Now let's stop right there. That's a mean bar, I feel what you're saying. What you're not understanding is I've been doing rap for a long time. This nigga screw face, he funny, bro. He said that's a mean bar. That's a mean bar. Right? And I get what you're trying to say, right? But there's a reason why in January 5th, I asked you specifically for a service. I know this game. This is the game that rappers that are bigger than you do. They'll pay, you'll pay full price for a feature. You'll pay exactly what they asked for. And then they'll double back and tell you that, oh, well, back in my day, when I was small, I didn't have nobody. It's like, bro, you have not, to this day, you still haven't tweeted out the video. You just shared or retweeted or tweet commented a picture of the video that I posted up. So yeah, I've been pushing this 100% myself. I've been putting money behind this. Why do you, how, you can't just assume you know what everybody's doing, right? Now read this, cause it gets crazy. So he goes, first song I did with Hobson, uh, uh, wait, he goes, even at a million subs, I still send out thousands of video clips for kids to post myself. I had, which I'm, I do also, I had a song with OT Genesis and that nigga didn't say shit about it. I don't know what that has to do with us. That's like some, I got hurt, so I'm hurting other people's stuff. That's really weird. First song I did with Hobson, he didn't say anything about it, which is even weirder how gung-ho you are now. 
I took it and made it blow myself. Never even asked them to share it, which is fine. But the issue is if you would have asked Hobson to share it and Hobson goes, you know what? Hey, once we shoot a video, I'll share it. And then he doesn't share it. That's different than just assuming he's going to share it and he doesn't share it. So as y'all see, just because you think you know somebody, you really don't know them. Behind the cameras, behind closed doors. Period. Now, I'm a Dax fan. Don't get me wrong. I'm a Dax fan. But at the same time, you got to recognize real. If you do somebody wrong, you do somebody wrong. And I feel like Dax did somebody wrong. And that's the reason why I'm reacting to this. I feel like if you if you pay somebody, and I don't keep, even care if it's as low as $5. If you pay somebody to do something, and they said they was going to do it, you need to stick to your word. I mean, you're supposed to be 100, no cap, big facts, right? Like, and you're supposed to be having a big fan base. And all them fans think you the realest out here. All them fans think you you hot. But the thing is, you really not, you really not real. You just spit fire bars. And that's all the fans seeing right now. But as y'all can see, y'all got dead ass proof. Proof that Dax don't stick to his word. And when he got big, you see that he did not stay humble at all. That's completely different. You can't, I know what you're trying to say, but that don't work the same way. Even, this video gonna be long as hell, I'm sorry, but never ask them, every kid who ever complained to me about not sharing a feature is the same kid who didn't end up doing anything. So for no reason takes a shot at me, saying, oh, everybody who asked me to share ends up not doing anything either. So you're insinuating like, oh, cause I'm not gonna do anything. So what does that even mean? He basically sounds screw face, get off your ass, promote your own shit, be glad I was on a song, and that's all the hell you gonna get. He basically treated him like the lint in his pocket. Basically saying, you're not on my level, get to where I am, and then we can talk about it. So you, anyway, all right, cool. And for no reason, no, I paid this guy money to do this, and this is what I get in response. And he goes, uh, I didn't share Four Horsemen because I wasn't something I wanted to share. I didn't like or believe in the song, which is fine. That's his prerogative. But he literally texted Crypt and said that he liked the song. So let's go to number three. Then I text him back, ready, set, pop it up right here. I said, of course I'm doing all I can do to push it. I've been doing this along for a while. The difference is you literally, you literally said you would, you would if I, uh, See, I, I was typing fast, I was angry. You literally said that you would if, okay. The difference is, you literally said that you would if you to, if told me you weren't, if you told me you weren't gonna push it, I would have tried to figure something else out. All that money I spent on the video, I could have paid for a cartoon to be made, put that money behind a bigger push if I would have known you weren't gonna do that. That's the issue. Exactly. Dax said he was going to do something that he didn't do. So Screwface on the other hand was like, he had this big plan in his, in his mind like, hey, this shit going to be done, this shit going to be done, we going to get this many views, more people going to see it. And it didn't happen like that because Dax reneged on his word. He reneged what he was supposed to do. Like I said, real recognize real. Put him on blast. That's where you like kind of stole from me. Okay. And how, did, and I said like this, how did you feel when Hop and OT did that? I've worked with a lot of people, man. <laughs> you have to, you have to see how that makes you look. I kind of assumed you, I would be on my own, but why is that the cycle you want to keep going? Why? Because they did it to you. Now when you're in that position, that's the first thing you do. It really goes against everything you're pushing to your fans, everything you're pushing to these reactors that believe what you're saying. And then Dak says, when they didn't share it, I didn't care. I didn't expect them to. The visuals weren't on the same level. What does that have? So you're essentially saying, hey, I didn't care when they did me wrong, so you shouldn't care. No, 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 no. Stop, bro. I'm sorry, I didn't even, like, I'm not even trying to diss him yet. I'm just trying to keep it real, but okay. Last message pop up right here. So I said this like this. I ended it like this. Dax, we are human beings first. Forget the fact that you want to wait to push someone's stuff, uh, uh, but you literally said you would. How would you handle that? I don't know how you handle that, but at this point, you just lied to me. It's not the same as what you're saying. You could have just been up front. 
everything you, you're saying could have been said when I asked you in January 5th. Literally, you said you would wait to push when the video's out. Then he stopped texting me back. I feel like Screwface shouldn't have texted him no more. Should have left it what the fuck it was. He not a real nigga. You see what it is. Um, through these texts, you will see that Screwface is just saying, bro, you're not sticking to your word. You're not saying what you were going to say. I basically paid you for half a job, not the whole job. And I had shit, I had shit planned and you messed up them plans. So now I'm going to have to push forward. To what I have to do and show the fans and show some of your fans that you don't keep it a hundred. Period. Platform, I get it. I get it. I'm learning still. I get it. I said, okay, cool. He charges me like another fourteen or fifteen hundred for the video, right? So he charged me for the verse, charged me for the video, and mind you, he said, if you pay this, you know, I'll push it. It's the video, and I have text messages of all of it. I get out to Cali. I ask. Uh, uh, Cause uh, uh, I was playing like maybe I could get him to shoot his four horsemen scene with me, so then we could get get it knocked out. I ask him about the song and he goes, "I'm like, yeah, what about the four horsemen thing?" And he looks at me like with a weird look and he's like, "Oh yeah, that's uh, it just got me on like a random beat." And I'm like, "Oh okay." He, the way he said it was very like disrespectful towards the song. I'm like, "Okay, so he's not feeling it." All right, cool. So we do the song. It's his prerogative. He could not feel it if he wants. That's fine. So we shooting the Dream Chaser video caught this because people definitely hit me up and stuff dax dissed us on the verse he dissed all three of us he goes uh one two three go now we about to make this motherfucker simple uh three niggas and a go on a with a random ass beat turn his motherfucker to his single so he's saying three niggas and a go so he's basically saying and mind you he changed his verse so i know it's a diss that's basically like he didn't like the song, so he basically put a new version on the song. And then, not only did he do that, he basically dissed all three of them before it was his turn. Bruh. No matter how it tries to get flipped, switched. So I'm sitting here like, oh, this nigga LL, uh, this nigga LL Cool J uh, cannabis me. This nigga 4321 me. And, because what he's saying is, uh, oh, three niggas, three Three red peasant niggas and the goat, huh? On a random ass beat. Turn this motherfucker to a hit single. Basically saying that, oh, I'm doing y'all the favor even though he was paid to do this. I'm doing this for y'all and even though we, let's call it Spade a Spade. He had the weakest verse on the song, okay? Like we know, we know rap, we know lyrics. So he had the weakest verse on the song. And then when I'm here, I'm like, why would he do this? Why would he go? And I was mad. I come from hip hop. I come from battle rap. So I've never been disrespected like that. Now, the disrespect is real, real. The disrespect is real, real. And then come to find out that when Dax told me he wasn't feeling the song, he actually told Crypt that the song was legendary, da da, this, that, and the third. So then Dax told me, I mean, so then not only did he not share Dream Chaser, I mean, uh, uh, um, Four Horsemen. Everybody else tweeted about it, shared it, Quedeca, uh, Crypt, and me. Not only did he not share it, he drops a song and video the same exact day. So he was trying to bury it, right? He was trying to bury it. Mind you, this whole time, that's why I said you can't always just trust people who are selling you something as truth especially if you watch like his adam 22 interview you'll kind of see certain parts where he says certain things where i'm like whoa um Dwayne tv his video is true it's true if you want more context on how he actually like kind of did us foul on the verses too so i'm sitting there like not only did he not put he drops a song the same day cool we take that as a super slap mind you we ain't said nothing yet so we let it rock so since i'm like yo i can't let dax do this to me I text Dax, okay, I paid good money specifically so you do this. He doesn't text me back. I'm like, okay. And this is like two days before Dream Chaser. Period. He got paid and ran off with your bag. Period. Basically boils it down to saying he was, he, when he was small, people used to do him dirty by not sharing it, his stuff. So he's going to do the same thing to me, even though I paid him to push it. Even though. And then what really got me upset was he started trying to talk to me like, 
Oh, you ain't paid your dues yet. Oh, I didn't like this, that, and the third. Bro, even if it's true you didn't like something, this, that, and the third, you can't wait till so far after you've taken the money for the thing, done the thing, to then tell people you don't like it. That's why you didn't. I paid you for a service. You didn't complete that service. That's just like kind of stealing, is it not? But her, get over it. I'm not sharing. I'm not giving y'all more clout than what I gave y'all. But I am but basically going to keep your money, and you're going to get a half-ass job with it. So, school face. Jane, Dax, B. I'm going to react to it. Make sure you guys smash that like button. Hit that rebel, y'all. Um, I just feel like Dax, he was in the wrong. Screwface was in the right to expose and expose text messages and all that. I mean, if somebody playing with your money, period, put them on blast. Um, like, I don't know. Dax, Dax, you already have you already have a big fan base. So does Screwface. But Dax already has a big fan base to where he don't even have to really do people wrong. If you're not feeling the vibe, you're not feeling the vibe. Don't do the project. Don't do the project. Don't even take their money. Go to a new, another project and do. So, I mean, it's not like you tripping. So, before you do somebody wrong, there's consequences and repercussion. Period. Um, shout out to Screwface, man. He a real ass nigga. It seemed like he a humble ass um, down to earth dude. Um, next time, know who to trust, bruh, bruh. Know who to trust because, man... You can't just be trusting everybody. Just because he got a big fan base and just because he look like he cool don't mean he might not be really cool. I mean, and just because, and it's, and it's obviously once people get up there, you really see if they're humble or not. And this is an example of Dax not being humble at all and reneging on his deals and doing half-ass jobs. Period. Let me know what y'all think down in the comments. This is my opinion. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Make sure you guys put your feedback down below and I'ma get to them and all that. Let's get it. Y'all jumped off at the porch late. I was already in a rental. Early bird get the worm and it won't wait.